Hi, Matt Kids. Good to be with you today on video. I miss you and hope you're really enjoying your summer. I'm excited to learn more about God with you today. We are going to be looking at the majesty of God today. Can anyone say that word, majesty? Good job. Does anyone have any idea what the word majesty means? I asked a couple of our Matt Kids and they came up with royalty, power, nature, God, all really great answers. The word majesty is used when talking to kings and queens and when describing something really great or impressive like a huge mountain or a beautiful palace. The Bible talks a lot about God reigning over the universe he created. Psalms 97 says, the Lord reigns, let the earth rejoice, let the multitudes be glad. The clouds and darkness surround him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. A fire goes before him and burns up his enemies all around. His lightning lights up the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax in the presence of the Lord, in the presence of the Lord of all the earth. The heavens declare his righteousness and all the people see his glory. That's a pretty impressive picture. It tells us to rejoice because God is reigning and he reigns perfectly. Can everyone say rejoice? Rejoice. Because he's a perfect king. And it says righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Does anyone know what righteousness means? It means uh, without sin, doing it right every time. Do you know anyone like that? Me neither. But God is like that. He is always right and perfect and without sin. And it says justice. Justice means um, true and fair treatment. These things are so important to God, the foundation of his throne. He wants them to be important to us too. Can anyone think of a situation where you can help bring justice? Have you ever seen anyone being treated unfairly? When we see that, we can stand up for that person and use our voice to speak truth like Jesus does and take action to help. <clears throat> like if you see someone small being treated unfairly by someone big, you should step in and help. Or if you don't feel like you can help, you could go and get someone bigger to help so that you can see um, justice come in that situation. Because um, <clears throat> if God is so awesome and majestic, like we know he is, and the Bible says that he created everyone in his image, that means that each person is um, a beautiful and precious one of his creations and should be treated justly. And I'm so thankful that we have a perfect King Jesus who reigns with righteousness and justice and has us on earth to be his hands and feet and see his kingdom come until he comes back. So let's pray. Jesus, thank you for your Holy Spirit that gives us the strength to do the right thing in difficult situations. Thank you for being our majestic and perfect King. We trust you to bring justice to the oppressed and pray that you would right every wrong. It is in your perfect and holy name we pray. Amen. Love you guys and hope you have a wonderful day.